hard. He's got a lot of revs. And again, the theme of this show, power, and he's got all that. Just absolutely snapping on it at the bottom. Oh, watch how far left Tommy Jones is. And here it comes. I told you, right over that left gutter. If he moves any further left, he's going to have to start getting it in the air. Been a long time since we've seen Double D. It's close. On a television show. Since Wichita, where he won, overcoming incredible health problems with surgery on his hand, a bad fall last year at the World Championships in Toledo, Ohio, and sidelined him for quite a while. The Double D returns to the television show again here today in Louisville. By the numbers, Randy, the breakdown. Dave had a high average this week and both great on a really tough pattern. He likes to play inside. He's got the great power. Look what Tommy Jones did, though. He stayed out of trouble, made a lot of spares. That was the difference for him getting here. And one thing I really love about Dave Bianchemont's game, from the waist up, very steady. OK. I haven't seen any of those this week. Since Wichita, Dave, struggled a little bit, he said. Kind of an equipment issue, didn't know which ball to go to at what time. Said physically, his physical game felt fine, but just wasn't making the right choices with bowling equipment. Apparently has chosen much better this week. Picks up the 10 pin at his mark. <coughs> Big Cleveland Browns, an Indians fan, his entire life near the Cleveland, Ohio, Middleburg Heights. This is Tommy Jones, Greenville, South Carolina. And in that state, Palmetto State, you either like Clemson or you like USC. He's a Gamecock guy. No debate about that. Lots of power. Nine pin. When you play as deep as Tommy Jones is playing and you're on the right lane, there's a ball return that you have to deal with because the ball return sits on the approach. Tommy Jones is standing in front of the ball return, modifying his approach, went from five steps to three steps to get deep enough on that lane. Looks to jack up the single pin conversion spare number. That's the 10th best average on tour. Shows us why, picks up his mark. Strike and a spare for Tommy Jones, 24 years old. We've had six new champions. We see his march into the TV show day, the victory over Vogelzang. Nick got the wild card spot, now he's in the semis. Six new champs on tour this year, including Chris Hayden in Orlando two weeks ago. One pin up there, and we asked Tommy last night, as he asked all the players who have never won a tournament, does that help you, give you motivation? And Tommy would agree, no question, seeing all the others win their first ever title gives them hope. Yeah, it's a little uh, inspiring. I'll tell you, for this guy, he told me that the guy that's been the most inspiring is Del Ballard Jr., who's, he said without Del Ballard, he wouldn't be here today. But all the time that Del spent with Tommy, changing some things, working on slowing things down, not only in terms of his release, but also what's going on mentally in his brain. All even. Diatramont's third frame. Hoping for a seventh career title. We show it to you at ESPN and sink. All 10 down for him. It was really nice to see Dave Diatramont come back from that terrible injury, winning the first tournament of the year in Wichita. Had that the blood flow problem going to the bone where the bone was actually dying. They corrected that. Dave worked really hard on his game, got back to where he is now, wins the first tournament of the year, back again on the telecast today. Fourth frame. Strike here, he's up 10. Looks for a double. A little high in the 6-10 up. Oh, let it go, Dave. 
Well, we've talked about it before on a tough pattern. You got to let the ball go. You can't grab it or pinch it at the bottom of the swing. That gets the ball to do this. Look at those eyes staring at the target. Picks up his mark. He avoided surgery on that bone in his hand you mentioned for four years, but eventually just couldn't put it off because of the damage it was doing and the blood flow issues. Second TV show of the year for Tommy Jones, last year's Rookie of the Year. He's 0-2 lifetime on TV with a 2.07 average, so he's got some room for improvement there. One of the bright lights on TV day. Through the nose. See, and that's the problem. He starts in front of the bar return, actually has to start moving the ball first before his feet start to go. Three-step approach, and the one thing that is hard to do when you're standing in front of the bar return is throw it hard. You, don't, you just don't have the momentum going to the foul line. Tough conversion on this bear. <laughs> Leaves three. Watch the swing of Tommy Jones, real steep like we talked about. Go ahead and freeze it right there. Look how steep that is. But when you have a high rev rate, you can get steep. And Dave Deontremont frees it right there. Again, high backswing, another power player, another high rev rate player. Two th one thing they both have in common, they both post shots. They get to the foul line real solid. Speaking of solid. Perfect ball in the pocket on lane 15 for Jones. He's got more room on that lane in terms of approach so he can get his body going a little bit faster and doesn't have to pull down with the arm swing. A little bit easier for him to make better shots on the left lane. Back to Dave Diachima. That comes in high, missed the pocket. The six pin still stands. Early friction created in the front part of the lane. We call it the heads. The first 15 feet does not allow that bowling ball to push to the right. Picks up his mark. He wanted to give thanks today to Dr. Harry Hoyan, who performed the surgery on his wrist and top of his hand, enabling him to continue his bowling career. Otherwise, he would have had to retire early. Now he hurt his knee and ankle in a fall at a hotel down some stairs in Toledo at the World Championships. Hasn't been an easy go for him over the last 18 months or so. There's a four. See, and those of you watching at home cigar? are wondering, well, why don't they just throw the ball a little bit further to the right? Well, the problem is with this pattern, if you get it outside the track area, and the track area being about the ninth board to the 12th board on the right side. If you get a right of there, the ball's going to hang. Picks up his mark. He began the season. A tremendous start by winning in Wichita. Now the second to last event of the year. He'd like to win again in Louisville, Kentucky. Jones stands in the way.